Hi folks, today I wanna to talk to you about teaching online. Here are a couple of quick tips for blended and e-learning. First, here's a disclaimer. You do not need to reinvent the wheel. Providing students with reading passages and traditional handouts is okay. Don't feel pressure to utilize a tool that you've never used before. It's going to be okay and we're gonna get through this together. There are so many great resources out there that can help you to move your curriculum online. Feel free to check out the D155 Tech Tools page. There's a lot of opportunities and ways that you can rethink student learning, but again, don't use a tool that you're not comfortable with. When you think blended in e-learning, consider these three factors. First, what do you want your students to learn? Think about those learning targets and pushing that information out to students. Also, how will students practice that course content? And finally, how are they gonna prove that they've learned it? So keep everything simple. All of your activities and resources should be clear and straightforward and pushing out traditional Google Docs is okay. Google tools can really help with blended and online learning. Google Docs and slides can push out traditional content. You can easily incorporate videos into slides and provide other resources through Google Slides. Google Forms is great for assessment. You can create quizzes, you can gather information for your students. And if you do need to meet with students in terms of speaking to them or chatting with them online, Google Calendar and Google Hangout can allow you to make appointment slots where students can digitally meet you at a designated time. You can also use Hangouts to chat with your students as well. Use the content you've already created. Also, there's a lot of really great resources out there from Kahoot and Quizlet and Edpuzzle that you can incorporate into your classroom. Don't feel that pressure again to reinvent the wheel. Here are a couple of walkthroughs for Edpuzzle Padlet, which is great for getting feedback from students, and Insert Learning, which can make reading interactive. Again, only use the tools that you feel confident using. Google Docs posted in Classroom or Canvas is okay. And if you have any questions, please reach out to your local instructional coaches. We're here for you.